Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light 100% Light Lock Challenge. In the last episode, we had continued to clear off more of the map. We actually went up to the northern part of the landscape, which got us ice climbers. But it wasn't the most northern part of the world, because we can go off into space. My goodness, there's space everywhere. There's a character up there that we could unlock. We also have dungeons to do and all that funness. So, I think what we're going to do is get a fighter right here. Sigma. Stamina battle. Melee damage has increased. Uh, let's see. Could try Hero again. I can't use my backup for this sort of battle. Someone with counter would be a good idea, like Lucario. Have a decision made in just a second. Okay, let's see. I had to pull up my little check marker. So far, I could do Fox, but Fox doesn't really do good for close up. Captain Falcon would be good, but that might be a risk. Okay, let's start with Fishy. I just have to be cognitively aware that Ganondorf is strong. Ready? Go! I have not even gotten a hit in. Well, that went very quick. Choose your fighter. Fox. Don't want to risk Fox in this fight, though. That's a thing. I need someone with good range and speed to get out of a mess. I'm just going over my list. Lucario might be the better choice. So I need something... By trait. Do I have an aura? Fire, water, electric, shooting. 
battering, weight. Magic, sword, hmm, okay, before I make a commitment, okay, thank you for your patience, so it does not specify whether it is Psy or magic. So we chose. Ready? Go! I'm over. <sighs> Seems like I need to start with a blade. That's two fighters. Technically, what can I do? His counter did not do anything, and I'm mad about that. Sephiroth to a battle like this. I don't think I'm ready for this battle. I need a sword fighter. Or someone with a counter like Lucina. Or even someone with better range. Also, I can't walk around as... Lucario because I've lost Lucario. That's very upsetting. Lucario was doing so well. Let's go. Let's go with Airdrick Hero because I still have two more heroes. We want to go this way. 
the benefit of clearing out so much map is being able to just go from A to B. Let's start. This is the smallest dungeon. So we're going to start with a small dungeon. Nehru. The enemy will occasionally be invincible for a while. Favors neutral specials. So, we want green sword up. Or that one. Okay. Nehru is my favorite of the oracles, by the way. Lazy of me now. Choose your fighter. It's been a while since I played as Sheik. I'm Midna. You know what? Let's go back down by series. Okay. Let's see why midnight. Okay, so Wolf Link Midnight is what she becomes. Dash attack. Really? Well, it's a three slot, so... Let's go for it. Ready? Go! Off she goes. Okay. Sheik is definitely a faster character. Something I have not been for a while. Coldra. All fighters, magic, and PSIs. Magic resist. Ready? Okay. Go!
I... I don't understand how I went flying like that at only 50. What? Okay. Super socks. Choose your fighter. Fox. Okay, so I definitely don't need to investigate that. Literally, the controls stopped responding. Because there's no way, seriously, that you can't recover from that. Rematch. If you want to question, you can always go back to... Episode 1, I've included the list of rules. That covers such rules.
That I'm counting. Ever there was an episode I was gonna lose all my fighters, it would of course be the tenth. Pyra! So Pyra and Mithra are a unique case similar to Hero, uh, because they both have their own starting com uh, pieces. So. As a result the, of me being able to switch, uh, they're both in play. But only one will die, and when that happens, my down B is no longer a viable move. I've never played uh, Mithra or Pyra outside of the classic mode, so that was a risk. That's that's the thing with these later DLC fighters. I have not really played Smash Bros enough to truly get a handle of their gameplay style. Long cool. Okay. Let's try it. Long cool was my favorite Fire Emblem sword fighter in Awakening. Okay, so this, this is good because it gives me access to switch between the two different characters. Okay, Simon! Win the battle to awaken the fighter. Ready? Go! Perfect shields are the worst. Oh my god! Continue. We're gonna say rematch, but switch straight to Mithra.
Okay, so uh, now I can't switch back to Myth to Pyra. Uh, that's what that means. Pyra's dead. My god. And... Oh, no. Well, I have to switch this for sure so that I don't start off as Pyra. Uh, let's go this one. Okay. Affinity. Ready? Go! Okay. Victory! So we lost a lot of fighters this episode. And I'm not happy about it, obviously. Uh, this is what happens when I attempt things. Uh, something's gonna appear there. Uh, that might actually be how I get in. I don't know. It's been too long since I've played this area. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to call this an episode. Uh, because we are slowly making our way there. And we're going to continue the Sky World. Uh, I did not like this. Uh, yeah, I might, as of episode 10, create a rule that lets me go down in difficulty, uh, because I do want to reach the end of the game, and, like, normal difficulty is already difficult enough as it is as someone who doesn't play regularly. So yeah, you, uh, next episode, episode 11, we're going to be on normal difficulty. I know you guys were so excited for me to do this on hard, but we we can't. We tried. It's super difficult. So, that's, that's our new rule. Thank you guys so much for joining me. In the next episode, we're going to continue here in Skyland and struggle... As we have lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fighters in this episode. Seven fighters. Simon is a gain. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash that like button and subscribe if you have not for more. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light 100% Light Lock Challenge. We'll see you all in the next episode. Later!